in this guide, I'll show you how to download and install CurseForge for mods and mod packs in Minecraft. So first, go to curseforge.com and on the home menu, we're going to go to get CurseForge app. Then you'll see two download options in the bottom left corner and select download standalone. Now when you do this, a download will install in the top right corner and then you want to click on it. Once you've opened up the installer, you want to click on next and then you want to accept the terms and then go to next. Then it will install. Now when you're in the CurseForge app, you'll see Minecraft which you can select here or you can go to the plus sign and just go to add Minecraft. Now we're going to use CurseForge's default Minecraft modding folder, so leave it on standard and press continue. Then we're going to go to browse mod packs and this is where you'll see all of the mod packs that you can easily install to use in game. So in this example, we're just going to go with RL Craft. So what you want to do is select the orange install button and then you just have to wait for it to download. Once it's finished, all you have to do is press play to use this mod pack. However, I do recommend you create your own mod pack first by going to create custom profile in the top right corner. Then you can give your profile a name. We're just going to name it my mod pack. And I recommend you include your Minecraft version so you don't get things messed up over time. And once you've done that, you can leave your game type on Forge unless you want to change it. And we're going to go to create. Now, the first time you do this, it might take a little bit to load, but once it's loaded, you do have the option to go to the three dots here, and then you can go to add more content. And this is where you can add any mods you'd like by pressing install, and you can scroll on through and add anything else. And then once you're happy with it, if you go back to the Minecraft logo on the left sidebar, here you'll see your two mod packs. So your custom mod pack, which you can always add mods to, as well as anything that you've downloaded that's already pre-made. Now, before you launch any of your mod packs, what I recommend you do is to go down to the settings cogwheel in the bottom left corner and then select Minecraft and scroll all the way down and increase your allocated memory because these mod packs use up a ton of memory and you can experience issues if you don't increase it. So anywhere in this 5,000 to 7,000 range will be good. Once you've done that, you can close it out and then launch your mod pack. Now, the first time you use this, you are going to have to sign into your Minecraft account. So go ahead and do that. Once you're here, make sure you're on Minecraft Java Edition. And if you have a look where this drop down arrow is, you should see the name of the mod pack that you're trying to use. Then go ahead and press play. Then just boot up a world and you're now playing your custom mods or mod pack. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.